Hi, everyone. Can you hear me? Cool. Awesome. OK, so thank you for joining in today. I'm Alolita Sharma. And uh, again, we have all met virtually, I think, more or less. Uh, but it's so nice to see you all. Welcome to Open Telemetry Day. We are going to do, be doing a community day today. And again, we have many of our maintainers here, many of our contributors here. Again, everybody who has been participating on the project, as well as all our observability um, groupies, I would like to say. But you know, <laughs> we're all here. OK, I think we're too close to this. Might be better? OK. So I'm Alolita Sharma. And Morgan McLean, who was going to be co-presenting with me, is presenting virtually in kind. <laughs> and he couldn't join us. But I think he did send in some clips, which I'll try to play. And of course, the final recording will be with some of his ta parts added in. But we kind of improvised at the last minute. So bear with us if you know things are not perfect. A little bit about myself. Uh, been, I'm a member of the governance committee and a co-chair for the CNCF Tag Observability. I'm also an observability leader at a major company that I have not put here, and a senior manager. Uh, I was previously a senior manager at AWS, working on open telemetry, Prometheus, and Grafana. Very, you know, uh, again, uh, hi, AWS team. Happy to have you here. Uh, and of course, introducing Morgan also. Morgan is the uh, director of PM at Splunk. He's also a fellow Open Telemetry GC member and previously a PM at Google, working on observability tooling, and has worked also at Microsoft in the past, developing web services. With that said, I'm going to kind of switch over to trying this out. I think he did an intro, but I'm not sure. We'll see. Okay. Hi, I'm Josh McDonald, member of the Open Telemetry Technical Committee and an engineer at Lightstep. I'll be talking about metrics instruments and the requirements that gave us the up-down counter, a new kind of instrument. Let's review how we got here. Metric systems have been around a long time, but I'm thinking about what happened around 10 years ago. Looking at open source systems prior to then, we had just one kind of metric instrument. I'll call it the number instrument. We would use it to report numbers with timestamps, and then we would plot those numbers as a function of time. The result is numbers in a line. The nice thing about numbers is they support math. You can do a lot with numbers, but first you should know what they mean. And 10 years ago, the interfaces we used to report metrics began to change. Why? Because it helps the metric system help the user when numbers have meaning. Back it down. said that you can just hit three. All right, we have our audio back. <laughs> we were kind of expecting this because they were doing this impromptu and the uh, gentleman, he just said, Press four first and then press three. OK, going back to our regular programming. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the milestones that the project has been, you know, embark has embarked on since 2019. As you, many of you know, open uh, telemetry evolved and has been the output from two big projects, you know, converging, open census as well as open tracing. And uh, in May 2019, Open Telemetry was announced as the merged project and the, with the mandate to provide APIs, SDKs, and an agent for metrics and traces, as well as uh, converging the land of tracing and metrics into one project with the communities working together across the board. Fast forward to April 2020, we began tracing RC and GA releases. Um, we began work, you know, shifting into instrumentation and metrics. Um, 2020 uh, May, logs was added as a new signal, which is pretty significant. So now, you know, this is back in the past, two years ago. And, and as you know, many of you who are involved in the project, logs has been continuing on as the project has kind of focused in on tracing and metrics. Tracing landed in as RC and then GA last year uh, in September 2020. And uh, in January 2021, we embarked upon an uh, ambitious project of 
you know, meeting with the open metrics and the Prometheus communities, and then kind of figuring out how we needed to overall our, and enhance the metrics specification, which guides the implementation of metrics on the project. And then uh, there was a significant amount of work done, which has you know, been ongoing through the Prometheus work group on the project, as well as the um, work that has been done by the different SIGs on the um, different languages. 11 languages are supported on the project and to enhance metrics implementation for the collector agent, as well as the APIs and SDKs in 11 languages. So fast forward to um, December 2021. Uh, so let me just make sure that you can see it. So September 2021, uh, tracing was finally completed as GA. And the stanza logging agent, which is kind of one of the foundation components of the logging work that's happening on the project, were added, right? So big milestones. December 2021, the logging data model was finally, and the protocol for phase one have reached GA. So that's very exciting because, you know, as the project completes metrics implementation, we'll switch over to supporting logging. And um, May 2022, in, uh, at KubeCon in Valencia, the project announced metrics GA um, and RC releases for different languages, and profiles got picked up as being added as a new signal. So fast forward to what's coming up on the project in the second half of 2022, as well as you know, going forward into 2023, is the completion of logging and uh, we are expecting that logging releases and implementation will go in for RCs later this year, and then GA is targeted for the first half of 2023. So that kind of gives you a glimpse of you know, some of the milestones that the project has hit continuously. And again, as many of you know, milestones are also dependent on you know, the number of engineers contributing to the project at any given point in time. So if any of you are not contributing to the project yet, please do join in because that helps us you know, get, get to stability faster. So the current status of the open telemetry signals, just wanted to go into what is, you know, what does uh, stability mean here? So open telemetry looks at stability with these t different air areas being supported for the three major signal types, traces, metrics, and logs. And as you can see, it's, an, it's a requirement for the project to have a well-fleshed out data model and a protocol before an implementation for the API and SDK is completed. And as you can see, these are the dates uh, when tracing has hit GA. Um, metrics, we have been rolling out gradually, and I'll go into more details on the breakdown of where we are with the different uh, metrics implementations. As you can see in the last you know, part, uh, there are five RCs in progress and uh, ha have already been released, and seven are in progress, so we are anticipating a rolling GA for the different languages you know, through this year. And then we have logs as the final signal, which is um, in progress right now. The, as you can see, the protocol has already been stabilized. Uh, and again, API specification as well as SDK specification is the work in progress. Again, those of you who are interested in logging, please feel free to join in for those discussions. There's a lot of work to be done on metrics also. So that's something that, you know, again, in the implementation area, would love welcome um, anyone who's interested in that area to join in. Um, as you can also see, logs and uh, in terms of implementations are not done yet. That's something that will actually start rolling out as RCs later this year and then following into the next year. So what's the current artifact status? This is you know, for the different languages. The, again, as I said, Open Telemetry supports 11 languages and APIs and SDKs in 11 languages. These are the top ones you know, which have the most amount of activity. And then there are others which are not on this list, but you know, are in progress also. As you can see, the collector, which is used as an 
uh, the standalone agent is in GA for traces, beta um, uh, for the user APIs, it's in RC. Uh, the user APIs is stable at this point, so you should be able to, you know, take it and run with it as an end user. There are some improvements and enhancements that are being made for developer uh, APIs, and that's, uh, you know, work in progress. Um, Java is in RC for metrics, JS um, is also in RC, Python is in RC, uh, and as of, the late, as of this week, C++ as well as .NET have already hit GA, uh, and of course, as you can see, Go, Ruby, and PHP are close, close um, almost close, but they're not at RC status, there's work in progress. Again, for any of these languages, you know, if you're interested, please get involved and help. Um, and then comes logs, right? So there's a lot of work to be done. And at this point, you know, there's a lot of work happening, both on the specification as well as on the collector in terms of, you know, an alpha implementation. And then as uh, the APIs and the SDK spec matures, you know, implementation will happen right after. Okay, so uh, switching to community, right? So, I mean, many of you know, as, as uh, you've all been involved, that open telemetry has seen an amazing growth in the last three years. And you can see, you know, literally uh, more, almost 1,700 companies participating in the project. It's really phenomenal to see the kind of growth that the project has seen. Open telemetry is the most popular project on, in observability at, under the CNCF, right after Kubernetes. As you can see, the top, top uh, um, row is for Kubernetes uh, with 761K CNCF uh, reports on GitHub activity. And then Open Telemetry is right after that, 254K. Um, which, is, which is pretty phenomenal. Uh, it's amazing the kind of energy and the collaboration across the different projects and teams uh, that this contribution has been possible so far. And we still continue to see it growing and uh, maintaining momentum as we go into logs, which is in one sense one of the most uh, well-established forms of, of monitoring, as you know. But at the same time, also, there's an enormous amount of complexity in implementing logs well. Just wanted to do a call out. Uh, most of the world you know, that revolves around observability is involved in this project. Um, some of the uh, biggest you know, vendors who are very much um, involved in building out observability solutions or services of their own are involved as well as you know just open source contributors who have formed the fiber of the project as maintainers as well as leaders on the project again huge thanks to our contributors um, you can see independent is a very interesting you know call out here there are a lot of independent contributors to the project you know folks who have actually worked um, across different um, teams or work independently as developers and it's, it's pretty cool to see that you know, strain of independent contributors also on the project, which is you know, pure open source contributors. Um, there are also a lot of end users um, in the, involved in the project who give feedback, who are part of the SIGs, who have been discussing and providing requirements. As you can see, you know, many of these um, companies who are listed here and organizations are very involved. Um, and, and we continue to see more growth on, on you know, end users actually coming in and joining the project to provide requirements and being able to actually uh, uh, work with you know, voicing some of the requirements that they have. And you, you know, configuration management, for example, is a big area. I also wanted to call out some of the extraordinary collaboration and interop work that the project you know, Open Telemetry has done. Uh, and has been involved in and continues to be involved in. Again, huge thanks to all the contributors from these projects who have worked very closely with us. Many of us are close friends, close collaborators, you know, and, and, and really love observability and open source. So as you can see, Kubernetes, open metrics, 
Prometheus, um, Jaeger, Zipkin, Pixie, Cortex, Thanos, Fluent Bit, Fluent D, StatsD, PromScale are some of the big projects who have been involved and worked closely with us. We continue to have work groups in these areas where um, we have discussed everything from protocols to what makes sense from an observability standpoint, APIs, uh, looking at compliance tests. Again, we worked very closely with Richard as well from OpenMetrics as well as Prometheus, you know, the Prometheus project to um, drive some of the open, uh, uh, the Prometheus compliance uh, tests, you know, which were announced by the project. And very proud to see uh, the collaboration in terms of compliance tests actually being part of open source projects to you know, ensure that the end user experience is really first class and there is full compatibility for uh, consumption of observability data across these you know, platforms. So what's next on the roadmap? And you can see there's lots of activity just happening above and beyond just the implementation of the APIs, the SDKs, and, um, uh, and, and the foundations, if you will, of supporting you know, the um, APIs and SDKs and the collector agents of, in the languages. And those are semantic conventions. As many of you know, semantic conventions are very important for being able to define and support correlation and insights that are gathered from different types of data signals. And so that there's a fair bunch of work happening around there. There's a work group that's, that's being used. Then there is also a uh, really um, you know, a very helpful but very com useful end user feedback group. Uh, again, some of our folks here, Shar and others are here. Uh, who have been you know, driving this effort, Austin, uh, Ted Young, and, and uh, again, getting feedback directly from the customers who are actually super interested or have deployed open telemetry for, as a collection solution for um, their infrastructure, for their applications, and getting feedback directly to the project for being able to you know, tune the functionality which is really cool because as you know, open source you know, uh, is as compelling as what end users can do with it and, and what developers can do with it. So get this, having this kind of a work group and an active dialogue really helps. Another area which has uh, been supported and, and was added to the project last year is client telemetry. And this is a very important area as you know, many of us come from the server infrastructure world where uh, server telemetry in observability is for, you know, quite well defined and supported. But client telemetry is equally important for those of us who have um, networks of uh, devices or IoT uh, applications or web browsers or programs you know, that are running on browsers. It's, it's equally important to understand the observability and observe the uh, signals for system performance and system health end to end. And, and so look out for you know, the work that's happening in the client telemetry area, which will then again intersect as a stack with server observability to actually provide a full stack of you know, really uh, system performance, system health for those networks that actually you know, support end-to-end, uh, -end, not only services. Um, another area, set of areas which is uh, very active and also we have work groups for these are client instrumentation. As many of you know, instrumentation is a very important part of enabling um, easy adoption for end users. And auto instrumentation especially is an area that the project has been working on. As you know, Java is uh, fully auto instrumented. Uh, another area that's uh, another language that's coming in is JavaScript. And I know our, some of our maintainers will be uh, you know, covering that later today. Uh, so again, you know, we are, the objective of the project is to make instrumentation as seamless as possible. And, and again, we invite you know, any collaborators who are interested in improving instrumentation to work with us. 
um, extending observability all the way from client apps and web apps, you know, taking spans metrics, metadata logs, uh, and making that available easily. Another couple of uh, groups that have just uh, kicked off in the last few months. Uh, one is agent management, and this really, you know, again goes back to how do you make agent management easy? This is a complex area because you not only have local, uh, you know, configurations for like a collector agent, for example, but you also have remote configuration, right? For many large-scale networks that end users have, uh, remote management is a key part of, you know, how they uh, isolate across their networks and at the same time are able to interoperate with configurations. And allowing SDKs, agents, and the collector to have their configuration remotely updated is a big, big, is a big area of work that's ongoing. There's a design uh, spec which is being discussed right now on the project, especially in the collector SIG. Again, if you're interested in, you know, kind of even tracking the instance of um, system health for the collector agents that are running on your services or on the end user networks. Um, understanding health and being able to communicate status is something very interesting. And, and you know, again, this is the uh, work group that's working on this. Similarly, um, again, and this is amazing, you know, this is how open source works. Uh, we just kick started a profiling uh, SIG where um, we are starting to look at how we can actually uh, introduce and add a new signal that will bring in visibility out of the box for code performance. And uh, this has just started from you know, discussions with the larger community and maintainers at KubeCon earlier uh, last month. And uh, there were a bunch of discussions before that because we've been working with Pixie and other projects very closely on you know, how uh, profiling could be uh, supported. Uh, but there's a new SIG that we, are, uh, that we have. Uh, and, and again, needless to say, if you're looking to participate in any of these areas, there is a, a calendar that, you know, for the project that you can just sign up for and just join any SIG or work group that you want to. That's interesting to you. You can attend some of the meetings while there are specific discussions ongoing. Uh, there, the project does record and maintain you know, very good notes about each of these SIG areas, so you can catch up on them later. However, you would like to see better tagging of our YouTube videos, but on the other hand, we do have them recorded if you want to go and catch up. Um, so just wanted to call out some of the major you know, um, areas that we are working on. And, and of course, you know, going forward, there'll be also many other areas which I'm sure we we'll you know, can easily spin up work groups on and a and, uh, you know, group of folks who are interested in that area just work together. Okay, so um, again, you know, with the thousands of contributors who have contributed to open telemetry, uh, there, is many, there are many ways to get involved. Uh, and needless to say, everyone is welcome. I really have found the project to be, you know, I've been involved in the project for three years. And it's really an amazing project to be involved in. There's just so much activity and so much discussion and, and really, really nice people that, you know, we collaborate and work with. Uh, so, so again, I welcome you to join in. Um, as a developer, again, who is not an open source pro, but is getting involved in open source from their company or from your organization, Again, it's very easy to join in. You can just listen in, lurk on the SIGs, uh, get involved, work on this, read the specification. There's a lot of documentation on the project. Uh, OpenTelemetry.io is uh, our website, so you can easily you know, go and browse. And of course, our code is on GitHub. I also have the link there. Uh, but again, feel free to you know, get involved in whatever way you can. Code reviews, design reviews, contributing, bug fixes, new features, tests. We have um, you know, contributed, built out CI, CD pipelines, uh, continuous security pipelines, release tooling, uh, again, support and you know, contribution in 11 language spec areas. So needless to say, there's a lot to be done. Right, and, and, and uh, you can easily get involved in any of the areas. If you like to write features, get involved, um, welcome you to do so. 
if you like to you know work on infrastructure ci cd you see a continuous security is an area you can get involved in and and also would like to call out that open source projects of this size and magnitude are usually not single dimensional it's not only developers who are working on these projects we have really an extraordinary number and, and wonderful community of product managers, community managers who are involved in the project. Again, you know, we all work together, brainstorm about you know, how best designs can be built and for the different components. And um, you know, again, uh, open source iterates and, and polishes and improves continuously. So uh, would welcome, again, you know, there's lots of opportunity to create awareness, to actually educate operators and end user developers, to use open telemetry well, to add to project documentation, to share knowledge, you know, work on semantic conventions, if that's your thing, um, run an open telemetry meetup. I think we have a really nice community across the world of folks who are doing online podcasts as well as open telemetry meetups in person, uh, publish blog posts and demos on the project site you can contribute it's as simple as doing a pr uh, and also welcoming end users you know to again join in provide feedback you know your feedback matters a lot uh, get your developers involved in open telemetry provide your use cases and requirements and these are just some of the areas you could you know there's a lot of lot of uh, energy and enthusiasm around these Last but not least, I'd like to thank all of our contributors, without whom we wouldn't have such an awesome project, our maintainers, our sponsors, and host. Uh, again, very thankful to CNCF for you know, actually pulling together and providing us the support for, the, for doing Open Telemetry Community Day today. And thanks to our sponsors, um, without whom uh, we wouldn't be able to pull everybody together too. Uh, with that said, again, have a wonderful rest of the day. And uh, again, welcome Austin to come back and he's our MC for the day. Thanks.